All right, welcome back to the American Dream. We're going to focus on America's finest city. Joining us on the show in studio, the number one realtor in downtown and Little Italy. He's become a great friend of the show. Chad Daniker joins us on the American Dream. What's up, man? Always happy to be here. Thanks, Greg. We love having you here because it's one of the most fun things we talk about. The coolest city on the planet, and you're the expert down there. So downtown, Little Italy, surrounding areas. You guys are doing big things in real estate, but I always love having you on the show because we learn these things that nobody else seems to know about yet. So what's new in downtown Little Italy? So I love Little Italy, amazing area. Best. Um, definitely fortunate to be there. But if you talk about what's new, uh, Piazza della Familia. So they just opened up. It's a 10,000 square foot public space, which is right in the heart of Little Italy. So where India and Date cross, so everybody that knows Little Italy drives one way up India Street. Right, right, yeah. And before you get to the gateway sign, yep. the street right before that is Date. Okay. So this has been under construction for two years. And what's really cool is it's a 10,000 square foot piazza that's no vehicles, right? So what does this mean? First of all, I don't even know what piazza means. I mean, plaza. Remember? Think of a plaza. Okay, so like in a, Italian. So uh, piazza is Italian. Bring you on the plaza show. would be Spanish, which is the adopted word we have in English. Okay, of the family? So plaza of so, the family, I'm like, assuming? Yeah, family plaza. So, so cool. think of it as, as a family gathering place. What an awesome thing to put in Little Italy. It's amazing. Which is already cool for the restaurants and the social scene, but now they're creating some sort of recreational. I mean, what, what's going on in there? So I, I think what it's all about, really, like city living and metropolitan living is all about public gathering spaces. Sure. So it's an amazing public gathering space. Unlike India Street, where you've got cars going by the whole time. No cars, right? Mm -hmm. um, beautiful lighting. Uh, very nice landscaping, seasonal banners that will, you know, with Christmas, it'll be Christmas. With the fall, you'll have yeah. kind of the, the Halloween fall type pumpkin type thing going on. Um, also, what's really cool is just more outdoor seating with umbrellas. Uh, also, they did a, a beautiful landmark fountain, which okay. is really cool. It's just a very serene, nice setting. It feels like you're in an urban village in Italy. Um, is more, there anything within it? Or is it just this is a good place to kind of hang out, chill on a Saturday, Sunday, and here's... India Street and all the restaurants. Is there anything being built out within there as far as restaurants, coffee shops, anything like that? Or is it just kind of a place to stroll around and chill? No, great question. So um, it's it's a swing space, right? So there also, there's a stage. Um, so okay. a temporary stage that they can put up for events and then outdoor seating that they'll have. But then also, yeah, there's a couple of restaurants going on. So there's a really cool um, restaurant. It's called the Food Hall. Um, so think of like a foodie type courtyard place, yeah. like, like what we did in Liberty Station. Yep. So, so that was a big hit in Liberty Station. So now that's coming to Little Italy. And what I think that's nice about that is for all the people that work down there, not everybody has time to go do an hour and a half sit down meal and spend 20, right. 25 bucks on lunch. So it's nice. They've got that concept going. And uh, actually, Sam, the cooking guy, yeah. is going to have one of the little food uh, stalls, which will be fun. And he's doing uh, not not tacos which is taco-like concepts with fillings that are completely different. So really? Like, like a meatball-type taco, or he had some salmon concoctions that he was Sounds doing. Amazing. So, so just some different things. But um, again, very similar awesome, to what, what has been a success in the Liberty market. Little, so. Little Italy is already, in my opinion, one of the coolest areas of San Diego. And they're just doing things right. It seems like they're making strategic decisions that are good for the public that ultimately can be good for the real estate down there as well, which is you specialize in. You're on Kettner. You have office space there, correct? Correct. Kettner? correct. Uh, tell us about the real estate market. So Little Italy market is, I mean, on fire as usual. Yeah. Uh, but what's cool about the Little Italy market is people have access to it. So uh, when I say that, there's only 20 properties on the market right now. There's Jeez. there's 13 pendings. Um, you know, year to date we've sold, there's uh, 24 properties, already, excuse me, 39 properties already sold. But what I love about Little Italy is the average sales price is 5, 12, 500. So Still. that's below the average San Diego or the median San Diego home price. So it can't stick so around that low, access. though. Well, you know, you've got to remind, you got to remember with Little Italy, you've got you know one bedrooms in the you know six hundred square foot range, sure. and the two bedrooms, most of them, or or the, even the townhomes are maxing out at maybe seventeen hundred square feet. So wow. they're smaller properties, but you don't need cars. Right, you don't need a ton of space because yep. you've got this amazing neighborhood that really is your amenity. Yeah, exactly. You're you're doing it for the lifestyle and the location. Before I let you go, so you've been big on this Pacific Gate project. New things happening there. Oh, amazing! Love it, love it. Yeah, I spent uh, a good two hours there three days ago. Um, we had our first three closings at Pacific Gate. They just started closings. Wow. The building's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, if I could make one comment on the difference between this building now that I've actually walked it and been in it and experienced it versus other luxury towers that are beautiful, it's the difference between like a, uh, like a low-level Mercedes or BMW, like a 3 Series or a C Mercedes C, 
and like a Tesla or a Ferrari, like where the door handles pop in. Everything was just fit, finished, polished. Pristine. Even the patios, the, the roof is finished with wood slats, kind of like if you were on a boat. Wow. I mean, chrome, like chrome finish on everything. Which so is just, just beautiful. set the bar, huh? It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely now these stunning. properties are selling. So, and, they're, and they're closing. So that's great. And we won't see that on the MLS, but that'll have a huge impact on our market this year because conceivably they're going to close 150 properties this year there. Wow. Which is just a big boost, right? So that, you know, what, 12 properties a month, essentially, 13 properties a month. So we're going to see a big impact. Already America's finest city just gets cooler and cooler. Chad Daniker, if you want to connect with Chad, I highly suggest find him on social media, but also you got a great newsletter that you put out. Normally I don't like newsletters at all, but Chad puts out a newsletter that's really robust with great information videos, everything that's happening in downtown San Diego and Little Italy, whether you're looking into real estate or not, it's one I would I would get on. It's welcome to San Diego.com. Yeah, you want to know the lifestyle of America's finest city? Here's the guy. Chad, thanks for coming on the show, man. Absolutely. All right, more of the American Dream coming up next.